Okay guys, this is a, um, a face and dials that belongs to one of my radios, which is a Feta Neutralette. It's, um, it's got the zero, oh, zero 01As, and it's from 1925. I was going to show you the radio, but I decided to wait until I restore these dials and the uh, Bakelite um, faceplate. So, you know, I was, I was thinking, you know, I could either just do it, or I can show you how I do it. So, I've got a bunch of old dials that I don't care about. So, I've tried a couple different ways of uh, restoring those dials to make them look really good, you know, brand new. And I'd come up with a, uh, a process that uses a special paint that works well for this. And I'll show you that uh, next. So, let's take a look at, at these dials, how they look, and the faceplate. It's not too bad. But, you know, it really is kind of dull and a little bit lifeless. So we're going to bring some luster to this. And we're going to make it pop just like the rest of the uh, radio does now. So let's uh, get to work. Let me show you. All right, everybody. So what we'll do is I'll show you how I restore my dials. These are uh, all Bakelite dials from the 20s. And as you can see, these two, I've already gone ahead and done those. And I still have this one to do. So you can see quite a difference between the two. And um, since I don't have a tripod, I'm going to do my best to, to record this for you so you can see what I do. So what I do first is I get a nail. And I sharpen that tip a little bit. Because what you're going to do is, you'll notice on these dials, they have uh, recesses. All these lines are recessed and then filled in with um, like paint and over like God knows how many years um, that paint turns dark from grime and you know it just doesn't clean up so what you're gonna do is take this you're gonna scrape out each and every single line and you're gonna do it very carefully because you don't want to be adding any uh, extra scratches so it does take a little bit of work um, to scratch scratch them out so since I don't have a tripod can't do this just one handedly. I'm going to go ahead and get started on this and uh, then I'll show you what it looks like without the paint. Okay, it took me um, not as long as I thought it was going to take to remove this paint. You know, some knobs, th that paint comes up real easy and sometimes you really got to scrape it out. Um, this one is pretty cool. I just applied some pressure at the uh, beginning of the line and it just simply popped right out. And I still ran the nail through it just to make sure it was cleaned out. Now, okay, this is very important. What you're going to do next is take this kind of spray paint. This is the Krylon Fusion Gloss White. I have tried many, many different types of paint. I was looking for the right paint to do the job. This is it. If you try any other paint, well, I'm afraid I'm going to have to come to your shop and kick your butt. Okay, I really won't do that, but you're going to wish that I did. So, save yourself some time, grab four bucks, go to Walmart, and hook this up. You're going to spray some of this in just a small little cup. It doesn't take very much. So, spray some in there. Now, me, I made a little ghetto brush. That's what I call a ghetto brush. I took a few bristles from my um, one of my other paint brushes taped it together and you really don't need very many strands just a couple and what you can do is just do your dip and paint and it's okay if you're a little bit sloppy because it's going to happen you're going to fill in the line and of course you're going to get a little bit on the sides so that's no big deal so I'm going to go ahead and uh, get this started you'll see what I'm talking about the numbers you're going to fill in the numbers and it's okay to do it a little bit thick because when it dries it's going to sink down in those recessed numbers and uh, once it's dry then you take some 1200 grit sandpaper very important 1200 grit and as you'll see in just a second we're going to sand off the excess paint leaving the beautiful paint in those recessed lines so uh, let's go ahead and get started we're going to uh, spray some uh, paint in this. And it's also important to note, um, spray the, the paint in there 
wait a, wait about like 10 15 minutes so you're you're letting some of that um um reducers in that paint evaporate so your paint gets just a little bit thicker um cuz what you're going to do is do one coat in these so you want to do it right um if you do two coats well when you apply the second um coat sometimes it'll bubble and lift your first coat and that sucks so let's get started okay our paint just had a few minutes to uh, to uh, dry up a little bit so let's see if we can do this where it stays in focus I'm gonna fill in uh, that zero and again it's okay if you get it um, um, outside of that little uh, recess line because like I said we will sand off uh, the rest As you can see, it's not a perfect science, and it's going to look pretty sloppy at first. Okay, um, I'm going to go ahead and finish this, and we'll get right back to you. 